Hi there, welcome to today's Clivia chat here at Clivia's for Africa. Um, as you can see, I've got a beautiful bronze flower busy opening up and uh, I'm ready to do a bit of pollination on it and I'm going to show you how I do that. But before we get into the details, um, just on pollination, one don't want to just pollinate for the sake of pollination. If you pollinate something, you want to make sure that um, you make a meaningful cross in terms of what pollen you put on there. So in this specific case, um, I've got the big flowers and it's got a nice deep, deep uh, bronze color. And uh, the plant is not that small. The plant is a bit on the larger side. So what I decided is I've got a plant with smaller flowers, but darker brown bronze color. And it's also a very small plant. So I think that's going to be a good match. So what I'm trying to achieve here, first of all, is I'm hoping for a small plant and I'm hoping to retain these big flowers and I'm hoping that these flowers will stay dark bronze or even be darker bronze. So that's what I'm trying to achieve here. Let's get into the pollination. Okay, what do we need before we start the pollination? I've got a little brush here, so that's what I'm going to use to put the pollen on. Or you can use these small pollination sticks just to show you here. Just in, in terms of my finger size, you can see they, they're nice small. So they've got a fine tip to do some very precise pollination. And uh, then I've got the pollen that I'm going to use in the, in the small pollen tube that I actually kept in the fridge. And uh, then I also have a normal black permanent marker to mark which flowers I have pollinated with which pollen. So, um, and then the last thing, let me just put this pen down. The last thing is my magnification glasses. So there we go. We're ready to pollinate. Let's get on to it. So there we have the, the pollen tube with the pollen in. Normally what I do is I just shake it a bit, you know, on that cup side against my hand. And what that will do is, as you can see here, uh, some pollen will accumulate inside of this cup and also it will make a little ring there just below it so what's nice here is if you open it up you know you have some pollen here and if you look inside there's some pollen sitting there okay so let's first of all take the pollination stick okay so what we're gonna do here let me just get it in front of the camera is I'm gonna take some pollen here from uh, from the inside of the tube. Okay, so as you can see, the pollen is sitting here on the pollination stick. There you can see those three dots on the stigma. That's, that's where you want to pollinate. So I'm basically just going to, on each one of them, I'm going to put some pollen. Let me just zoom out here. Okay, now let's do one with a, with a little brush. So in this case, I'm going to take the pollen on the inside of the tube. Just to show you, I hope you can see here the yellow on the brush point. I'm just going to use the same flower to show you exactly the same whether you use the brush or whether you use the pollination. And then the third method is if you shake this hard and you've got some pollen sitting inside of the pollen cap, the other way that you can also do it is if I zoom in here again and you can actually move it 
inside of the cap and it it will touch the pollen there and it will it will put the pollen in there so that's another way you can do it okay so the last thing is to take the permanent marker and to mark which flowers you have pollinated with which pollen so in the example that um actually gonna move on to there now you can see there's two stripes on that flower and then if we go a little bit up and to the left you'll see one flower has got one mark and the other flower has got two marks again so basically what's happened here is the ones with two marks i've put a specific pollen on and the flowers with one stripe on has got a different pollen on okay and then what i will do is on the flower stem as you can see here um, i will actually write the names of the pollen that i've used also with one or two stripes so i can remember so when these berries and seeds are ripe next year i'm going to remember exactly which flowers i pollinated with what pollen So there you go that's how i pollinate flowers very simple and there's there's different ways of doing it there's no one way that's the perfect way or the right way so i've made a video about this before and uh, i was busy pollinating this morning and i thought let me make another video and just show some other ways of, of doing it so i hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe to our channel and remember to click on the notification bell to be notified when there's new videos on Clivios for Africa in future. Until next time, bye bye.